Hi folks, my name is Brent. So this is a mobile office that my wife and I are selling. We're selling this because we're buying a home and we're going to build our office into the home. This uh, mobile trailer allows you to park your office anywhere without a council permit. It's set up with a Mitsubishi split system, heating and cooling. It's also got a set of aerials, 3G and 4G. It's got Wi-Fi inside. It's uh, set up so that it will pull from two towers at the same time. This vent on the front is part of a ventilation system that runs on 12 volts. There's one vent here. It's baffled so that water can't get up in there. But air can come out has a 12 volt fan that runs off solar power you've got your power in here 240 volts you can run that off a generator or a standard 10 amp power point it's also got a residual current device for safety okay so this trailer is fairly high tech besides the 4G and 3G aerials it's radio controlled uh, some people think that that's a bit insane, but it's very practical. These are caravan moving motors. They can move 2.2 tons. This trailer weighs approximately one ton, so you could load it up and you'll have plenty to spare. So there's one motor there, and another motor on the other side. Okay. So the window is double glazed, it pops out, it also has a fly screen, privacy screen. This can be used to store a fridge, which will run on the existing solar power independently, up to about 60 litres I believe. Okay, so this is a heavy duty fridge slide. Now. If you don't want to put a fridge, you could put a generator in here. Honda or Yamaha will fit. There is 12 volt Anderson plug. There is 12 volt LED lighting. Now the door on the back of this has a fly screen as well. It's heavily insulated. This door is quite expensive. They put them on $500,000 motorhomes in America. I also have a Fiamma handrail. This acts as a second lock. You can lock that. You have a single lock, deadlock. So there's quite a bit of locking here. Okay, then we have the door. Comes around. Hold the door open, there's the internal locks. This is pretty clever. Get the mozzies out. Okay. You see that will actually open the fly screen like so as well. Pretty nifty. All right. Quality materials have been used throughout. The flooring in this is heavy duty industrial vinyl. Uh, you've got the 50 millimeter fridge panel floor with a piece of tin across the entire floor, then plywood, then another piece of tin, and then the industrial vinyl. These are captain seats out of boats, aluminum pedestals. You can adjust them up and down. Okay, we've got some light thing happening in here. Okay, so we have 240 volt lighting, 12 volt lighting, both LED. This is the uh, window, fly screen, independently move the fly screen. 
and you can open that window when the door's not a bit in the way. Okay. So, there's a 24 volt solar panel, which I'll show you in a minute, on the roof. There is a lot of wiring and so on in here, which we'll get to. Okay, so, one seat. I'll stand back a bit. There's your split system. It's currently 27.4 in here. I'm just running it moderately. Okay. Now down here you have Nava 12 volt outlets and you have USB outlets and you have some power. Now that power comes from down here. It does not come from the power cord coming in. It is independent. Okay. Alright, in here, so those power points I just showed you, they're running off a 400 watt inverter. You could run a laptop, small things. There's all your 12 volt. It's coming from this huge battery, weighs 59 kilos. I think it's worth about five or six hundred dollars, 200 amp hour. Now, there's a custom 12 volt fan down there. That custom cow, and uh, it has uh, like mesh and so on underneath that allows it to suck cool air into the trailer when the trailer is sitting for extended periods not being used and I'll show you how that works in a moment okay so coming back to all of this electronic system we've spoken about the fan below there's a fan up the top now this one at the top is 12 volt another custom cowl and that goes to the custom aluminium cowl on the outside and this, will, this one up here will suck the hot air out when the trail is sitting for extended periods not being used and uh, the other one brings cool air in. And that is all controlled by this little gadget. That is saying it is 27.3. If it hits 28 degrees in here, that will turn on the two fans. It will then bring cool air in from underneath, take the hot air out the top, keep the temperature near reasonable, it still gets warm but a little bit uh, more reasonable inside when it's sitting. So, this unit here. This is the radio control unit that controls the electric motors. We will take it for a drive in a minute. This is the uh, solar controller. Currently 0.9 of an amp coming in. It's very overcast. It's about 5 or 6 p.m. in the evening. and it's at 13 volts of battery, it's fully charged. It's happy. And here we have Telstra 4G, all you need is a SIM. You plug it in under here, give you some power, and you can fire this up. And that's gonna give you 4G Wi-Fi hotspot off two big aerials up top. Okay, now down here is the box. You can store all your paraphernalia in here. It has a false floor. You can put even more underneath. It's all the manuals for all the equipment. It's a fair bit of room in here. Okay. Now we have a full massage bed. I've had six foot three people on it. They're comfortable. It's like even longer than that. Here's a little light. Turns on. So you can see the keys at night time to get to the locks. It's all waterproof. Okay. I think that is it. I'll just take you up on the roof and we'll have a look at the solar. Okay, so we're on the top of the trailer. I know it looks a bit messy, the black celastic, but it's polyurethane. It stops leaks and the sun doesn't wreck it. Clear silicon tends to degrade. And then you get leaks. So... You don't really see up here, it's pretty high. I'm standing on the top of a ladder. That panel is 24 volts, 250 watts. I think it's worth about $500, $600 from memory. It's a very good quality panel. There's a bit of a lip there to protect the hatch. Actually, we will go and have a quick look at the internal aspect of the hatch now. And there's the aerials. Okay, the last thing we'll look at is the hatch. Now, it 
as privacy. Okay, so I've actually had special reflective tint put on it. Stop the heat a bit. Uh, it does have a fly screen, so you can close it with the fly screen. Okay. Now, open it up. Okay, you can see that's right up. You can bring it down. Sorry about the camera work. Okay. So you can see the hatch is just sitting ajar. Now that allows you to get some good ventilation, but of course you might not want the bugs. So you can sit in here with the door, the fly screen on the door open and the hatch open, you get good cross flow. But uh, failing that, if it's too hot or too cold, this is 50 millimeter thick steel sandwich fridge panel. Turn on this split system. It takes about three minutes to either make it really warm or really cold. And uh, it doesn't tend to run very much at all after that because once it gets up to temperature, it just sort of stays that way like an esky. Okay. One last look at the electrical. Thanks very much. Okay, so I'm just gonna give a demonstration. The radio control, here's the unit. Okay. So this will move 2.2 tons, only weighs about a ton. So it does it fairly easily. They're designed for the caravans. If I press two at once, opposite, it's like a tank. And it will turn. And so on. So basically, there's the remote control. It's basic. It's got a pretty good range, I think 100 meters or so. So the benefit of having a radio control unit is being able to navigate into tight spaces that you couldn't get into with a vehicle. It also means if you're going places where there's people all around, you're trying to back in, it can be difficult. So you just uh, unhitch and make what is sometimes a stressful experience, a relaxing, positive experience. And uh, you normally get a lot of onlookers, of course, as you can imagine. So it's very practical. If you are in a business where you need to take your business to the people, this is very handy. Or even at home, just to park it, move it around, put it where you need. Thanks very much.